Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm so excited because I get to talk to all of your families today. Hopefully, I get to talk to you. And uh, that just makes me very happy. So uh, today, we're reading uh, Just the Way I Am. And it's one of the seven habit books by Stephen Covey. And we're going to read all seven habits this week. So Porky Porcupine was sad. Every time he walked by Biff Beaver, Biff made fun of him. Hey, Pokey, your quills look like a pile of toothpicks. Biff sounds like a bucket dipper. Pokey would go home and look in the mirror. Biff's right, he thought. My quills are ugly, so ugly, and I'm not going to school anymore. His friends tried to help. I like your quills, said Goop Bear. They're spiky. He's being outlandish, said Sophie Squirrel. Out what? said Sammy Squirrel. It means silly, said Sophie. There's nothing wrong with your quills. I think he's vood, said Tagalong Alley the Mouse. You're a porcupine. You're supposed to have quills, said Jumper Rabbit. Just like I'm a rabbit and I'm supposed to be bouncy. Pokey went for a walk in the meadow and he thought about what his friends had said. He stopped and looked at his reflection in Cherry Creek. He wiggled his quills up. He wiggled his quills down. They made a nice tinking sound in the wind. They sparkled in the sun and Pokey decided that his quills weren't so bad. I like myself, he thought, just the way I am. The next day, Pokey went back to school. How come your quills poke out so far? asked Biff. Pokey just smiled and walked away. He was not going to let Biff ruin his day. The next morning, Pokey decided he liked his quills so much that he'd show them off at school. All of the schools all of his friends gathered around him. I wish I had quills. Now look at this face. It was really unkind before. So here's some questions for you to think about today, and you can talk to a parent about them. Um, so you can pause the movie, and you can you and your parent can you can talk about these. So, why was Pokey so sad? What did Pokey's friends do to try to make him feel better? What helped Pokey like his quills again? What did Pokey do when Biff Beaver made fun of his quills? What did Pokey do when Biff Beaver made fun of his quills the next day? Did Biff like Pokey's quills at the end of the story? What changed his mind? And has anyone ever said something to you that hurt your feelings? What did you do about it? And so these things are some steps you can do. Next time someone makes fun of you, walk away and just smile, just like Pokey did. Don't let it bother you. Name three things you like about yourself. Tell your mom or dad one thing that you want to get better at, like drawing a picture or brushing your teeth. And if someone's feelings are hurt, like a friend or brother or sister, make sure to tell them you're sorry. So that's our first habit, just the way you are. And um, I can't wait to see what habit number two is. Have a great Monday.